Hello, this is just an experiment that I decided to catch on camera for when it all goes horrifically wrong of trying to get this unit to cross this corner. I've managed to get it working in a straight line, I will show you that first. Oops, there. If we jump in, everything's on, so if I turn the thrusters on, we start bouncing along quite successfully. Now I've toned down the thrusters for this test. I did have large thrusters on the unit, but those were causing me trouble, so I've swapped to pairs of small thrusters down underneath the carriage. So there's two thrusters pointing each way. These wheels underneath are what I'm hoping will guide it round this corner. Not sure that's going to work because they're terribly positioned. I wanted them to actually be sort of flush with the edge, but because of accidentally having this carriage off center when I started building it, I couldn't place them in there. And so I just sort of placed them loosely. The carriage bounces around quite happily. It does have a gyroscope, so I can spin it around a little bit just using that. Oh, wrong button. I wanted P. So if I move the camera a second, get it away from the wall, I should be able to show you. There we go. I can move the carriage myself, but that's not the intended design here. So let's just try and straighten that up slightly. Uh, give or take. Just get that back. And here's the internal view that you have when using this. So using the internal view, you'd pretty much be relying on the screen which tells you when your landing gear is in proximity. So I much prefer just to be out in the open looking over this thing. So fingers crossed it's going to get round the corner. But if as I expect is going to happen, it's probably just going to hit that corner and utterly fail. I have backed up this world though so I can revise the carriage without too much trouble. So we've hit the corner it's completely refused to turn. If I force it to turn, we can, but the guidance system itself didn't let that happen. That was manual turning. So unfortunately, no getting it to turn via the track. Definitely that hole is far too wide. I did make it previously with a smaller hole, but um, that was sort of so small that it just wasn't possible to work. It looks like I can actually, if I'm not careful, lose the carriage down that gap. It's so big. So I'm going to have to fix that. But the basic idea is working here. The gyroscope keeps it going on a nice straight line, which was an issue pre-gyroscope. This thing caused me chaos prior to that. Hence why that's just sat in the middle of the um, landing area there. I didn't want the gyroscope to be here tucked away because in a survival world you'd need access to those reactors in order to power it up. There's also the option to increase and decrease the weight of this platform. I've got two of the artificial weights on at the moment. And this, just quickly show you, was my first attempt at getting a wheeled vehicle running. So caused a lot of damage to the station using this thing. Put a lot of holes in it before I got this far. Um, kept destroying wheels with the thrusters and things. But this thing happily runs around the station. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but it happily goes. It's quite good. I'm rather impressed actually with how well this does work. And just took me a while to actually get the um, wheels turning as it's not as simple as just shoving the wheels on the vehicle and then working. It's a bit of fiddling involved, but it's not too bad once you work that out. So I hope you've enjoyed this little test that I was just doing. Just figured I'd record it, chuck it up. And hopefully this though is going to lead on to designing a monorail. I'm going to try and have it dangling down below a rail. Probably gonna have the rail coming off that corner or something. And fingers crossed, it will successfully work. But for the moment, got to get this carriage turning the corner better. I want there to be a lot less interaction required by the driver in order to get this thing working. 
So you can sort of just get a little bit of power up on the thrusters and then it should just coast round on its own so you can get out and do other things as hopefully I can make a much bigger design in the future that you can actually dock things like the shuttles on and have those brought back into the station that way as opposed to having them just sort of drifting around as they do at the moment but that will hopefully be in a future video when I get this going a little bit better but thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye